Hi, this is Marto. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Mikhail Tal and Alexander Kazimirovich Tolush. This game was played in the Soviet Union in 1956. Mikhail Tal had white pieces and he started with e4. Tolush played c5, Sicilian defense. Knight to f3, d6, d4. C takes on d4, knight takes on d4, knight to f6, knight to c3, and now a6, Nydorf variation. Bishop to g5, e6, f4, queen to b6, this is poisoned pawn variation. Queen to d2, allowing queen takes pawn on b2. Rook to b1. Queen to a3, black is a pawn up. White to move. e5, general rule says, when leading in development, open the game. d takes on e5. f takes on e5, attacking the knight. But now, knight from f to d7, attacking the pawn. How to defend the pawn? What to do? What would you do? It is quite difficult to defend the pawn, actually. And if bishop to e2, black may play bishop to b4. Played knight to e4, and now bishop to b4 doesn't work, does it? Because of rook takes on b4. And how about knight takes pawn on e5? Is that good? If knight takes on e5, the knight to b5 Attacking the queen, with the idea, pawn takes knight, queen to d8, checkmate. Back to our game. Tolush played queen takes pawn on a2, rook to b3, queen to a1, check, king to f2. Black is two pawns up, and white can't even castle. Queen to a4. This is the critical position of the game. What would you do? Tal played bishop to b5. There was even stronger move than this. And that was knight takes on e6. And after pawn takes knight, knight to d6 check, bishop takes on d6, queen takes on d6, and white is winning, for example. Rook to f8, check, king to g3, knight to f6, pawn takes knight, pawn takes pawn, bishop to e2, intending bishop to h5, check. In the game we have an incredible move, bishop to b5, pawn takes bishop, Tell us. knight takes pawn on b5. If queen takes on e4, then knight to c7, check mate and if knight to a6 defending c7 the knight from b to d6 check bishop takes on d6 queen takes on d6 and white is winning tolush played the best move f6 pawn takes pawn on f6 this is a very important moment of the game black to move. How should black recapture? With the pawn? Or with the knight? Or maybe there is another move. For judo. Please pause and find the best move, the best defense for black. Push played g takes on f6 and this looks like the best move. Because now bishop on g5 is hanging, so is the knight on e4. It looks the best move. However, queen takes knight on e4 would be even better. And believe it or not, knight takes on f6 is also a good move. And now if knight takes on f6, g takes on f6, bishop takes on f6, Bishop to c5, check. 
king to e1, queen to e4 check, king to d1, e5, and black is fighting back. For example, white even can't take the rook. It's not that Tav would play this, but just to tell you that black is fighting back. Back to our game. G takes on f6 was played, and you really can't blame Tolush, because this looks like a great move. White needs a miracle now. And Tal found one. Rook to e1. Hmm? Tells a bishop to h4, queen takes on e4. And black is winning. So we have rook to e1. Rook to a6. Adding more protection on the 6th rank. What else? If knight to c6, bishop takes on f6 is winning. What if pawn takes bishop? If pawn takes bishop on g5, knight to c7 check. If king goes to d8, then knight takes on e6 would be winning. And if king goes to f7, then rook to f3 check. And again white is winning. Bishop takes on f6. Knight takes bishop. Knight takes on f6 check. King to f7. Rook to f3. Lining the rook with black king. It is now very difficult for black to calculate. Queen to h4. White to move. What would you do? King to g1 or king to f1? Well, I guess king to g1 is the first move that comes to mind. Defending the pawn. White king appears to be safe on g1. But Tal played king to f1. This is setting a few traps here. First, the El Chipo one. Check winning the queen. There is another trap. Queen to c4 check, king to g1, and now if queen takes knight, then knight to d5, discover check, and white is winning. After king to e8, other king moves are also losing. But just to show you what is going on, knight to c7, check winning the queen. So if king goes to g1, then black can play bishop to c5, check. So Tal played a tricky move, king to f1, e5, in, in order to bring his bishop in the game somewhere. Queen to d5, check. bishop to e6, as planned. Knight to d7, discover check. King to g6, this is another very interesting moment of the game. King to e7 was suggested by the experts as a better move. If Tolush played this move and lost, experts would say then he lost because of king to e7. Hmm? King to g6 was played. Knight takes on e5 check. King to g7. Rook to g3 check. White queen is hanging. Queen takes on g3. Is it going to be queen for queen? Hmm? No, 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 no. Queen takes on b7, check, and white queen is safe. Knight to d7, h takes on g3. Rook to b6, fork in the queen and the knight. Queen to c7, bishop to c5. Well, if rook takes on b5, knight takes on d7. Bishop to c5, knight takes on d7. Bishop to c4, check. White to move. White played the move and black resigned. The move is rook to e2. Black resigned. If bishop takes rook, king takes bishop, rook to e8, check, king to d3, rook takes on b5, this is just one possible line, knight takes on c5. And what else? If now rook to e8, then knight takes on c5, Check from queen, king to g8, queen takes on b6, bishop takes on e2, king to f2. And white is easily winning again. Some commentators suggested 
that Tao missed the best moves few times. Also, Tolush could have beaten Tal if only he had Houdini available at the time of playing. Hmm? To this, Tal's fans responded by saying, Houdini would melt in the presence of Tal. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.